Hi everyone, it's Miss Debbie. Happy Memorial Day weekend! We finally got to the holiday and normally we would be at the beach, I guess, and I hope some of you are gonna get out and have some fun and make some s'mores. But this is also the weekend that we say thank you to all the men and women who have served our country. The Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, the Coast Guard, the National Guard, Shout if you have been a service member or one of your family members has been a service member. Yeah, I hear Coast Guard, I hear Army, I hear Navy. Thank you all for your gift of love, for your gift of service to us and our country. We are gonna tell the story today of the last day of Jesus on earth at, at the top of a mountain. Let's get started. The disciples had gathered on the Mount of Olives, just outside Jerusalem. As they ate together, Jesus told them firmly, Don't leave Jerusalem. Wait there for what the Father promised, the promise you heard from me. John baptized in water, but you will be baptized in the Holy Spirit. One of the disciples asked Jesus, Master, are you going to restore God's kingdom to Israel now? Is this the time? You won't know when the time comes for God's kingdom to come. That timing is the Father's business. But what you will get is the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit comes on you, you will be able to be my witnesses to tell the good news of life forever with God in his kingdom. Tell the news in Jerusalem, all over Judea and Samaria, even to the ends of the earth. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, that your Son may glorify you. These believers were yours. You gave them to me, and they have obeyed your word. I pray for them. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. I pray also for those who will believe in me through their messages. Then the world will know that you sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. As the disciples watched, Jesus was taken up, 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 and disappeared in a cloud. They stood there, staring into the empty sky. Suddenly, two men in white appeared. They asked, why do you just stand here looking up at an empty sky? Jesus, who was taken up from among you to heaven, will come back as certainly and as mysteriously as he left. So the disciples left the mountain and returned to Jerusalem, about a half a mile away. They went to the upper room they had been using as a meeting place. Peter, John, James, Andrew, Philip, Thomas, Bartholomew, Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James, even the women, even Jesus' mother, Mary, agreed that they would stay together for good, completely together, in prayer. All right, we're going to do this. Yeah, we're, we're together forever. That's it. We're doing it. Amen. That was, that was pretty amazing, watching Jesus go up into the sky. While he was here, Jesus talked so much about the kingdom of God. And he taught, he even taught the, us the prayer, the Lord's Prayer, that talks about the kingdom of God. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It was very important that we got that message. I also love that Jesus prayed for the disciples, that he asked God to take care of them and protect them. And that's why we have the Holy Spirit. That's why the Holy Spirit came to protect them and give them the power to spread the good news of this life, this eternal life that we can have.
And now it's up to us to use that Holy Spirit to spread the news. How about if we say a prayer? All right, goodbye. Hold your hand. It's okay. Holy God, you shared your love for us by sending us Jesus. And he spent his life demonstrating that love and teaching his disciples to carry on the message of your love and the good news that we can live in that love forever. We don't know when Jesus will return to bring your kingdom here to earth, but we can continue what the disciples started, to share the stories and tell the good news of your love and gift of life forever for believers. Protect us and give us your peace and love. All these things we pray in your name. Amen. Have a great, great weekend. And we'll see you next time. That There's something special happening next week too. Have a good time this weekend. And get some s'mores. Okay? Alright, see you next time.